Today's video demonstrates Milliput epoxy putty in super fine white, specifically testing its ability to fill imperfections on a model and to sculpt various details. I'll also show you tips and tricks for sculpting with Milliput. Similar to other two-part epoxy putties like AIDS or Magic Sculpt, Milliput comes in two parts so you must mix equally. And since it's a two-part epoxy, you will want to wear gloves while mixing to avoid possible skin irritation. Also, this stuff is incredibly messy to mix, as you can see. Mix it until the color is consistent and you feel the putty getting warm, which should be at least two minutes. This is technically not an air dry clay and cures through a chemical process and the heat is your clue it's working. I make sure to really knead, fold, pull apart, and refold repeatedly to get a good mixture. I let mine sit for a minute and prep my model. Putties need a really good surface to grip onto or else they may lift in the future, so I make sure to scrape lines into my plastic. Make sure you're applying enough pressure to actually gouge the plastic and not just scrape the paint. And so here we begin. Right away, I notice that it's not quite as easy to roll as Aves as it wants to grip the tabletop. Some hobbyists fix this by sprinkling flour or talcum powder on the table first. However, I found it less likely to stick to the table as the putty started to cure. The super tackiness when freshly mixed seems to come in handy later, as I noticed it was much easier to apply in two of the noodles without them moving away from where I first placed them. Like Aves and Magic Sculpt, it's really easy to moisten with water to increase tooling ability and to smooth with water and a paintbrush. You can use isopropyl alcohol as well, just your regular old rubbing alcohol, if you want something that will evaporate quicker. Compared to other putties I've used, Milliput definitely feels a little different when wet, and I thought it was a little messier, but it was really nice for hair detail and shape of hair. It even picked up the strands of my brush, giving a sense of fine hair strands on the same brush that Aids would not imprint that kind of detail. I think I like Milliput better than Aids personally for hair. Applying it to the body is also different. I found it a little difficult to blend it into the original body, especially the more the putty began to firm up. Trying to blend with water just makes it messier and easier to accidentally imprint the details of your skin, so I figure it's better to get this as close as you can and just sand it later to smooth and blend it. This may or may not be an issue for you, but for me I felt A's was superior in this department. I should also note that Milliput Superfine is a lot softer than A's, even A's epoxy in white. For some people, this may be perfect, and others not. It just depends on your sculpting style and material preference. Lastly, when it's dried, I notice it's a lot lighter. In fact, it barely added additional weight to the stable mate. I can see this being a huge benefit when sculpting areas that are prone to making the model tip, like necks or complicated tails. For me, it's super important that your sculpting putty cure rock hard. I like to use a fingernail test in which I try to carve it with my nail. It shouldn't carve with light pressure if you want the model to withstand prepping and anyone gripping it. Think of it falling and someone trying to grab it quickly. For me, Milliput passed the test as it took considerable pressure to scratch a carved line into it, which I would consider normal for carving. I think Milliput would withstand rough handling. I also wanted to test another very breakable prone aspect for model horse sculpting to see if it was up for the task. Ears. Because it's so soft, gets very malleable when wet, and likes to hold impressions of your skin far easier than Aves, it was tricky to form ears that were as delicate as with Aves. The result in stablemate scale was a little thicker, but once they hardened, they were just as hard. I would never consider custom ears to be durable, but I feel confident that Milliput will hold up just as well as any other epoxy putty. As for using it as a filler, this was interesting. I usually work with Bondo spot putty and glazing to fill imperfections and air holes. However, Milliput has some advantages. It's tacky compared to Bondo, so it felt easier to get it to really stick into the imperfections. Watering it down before or after made it easier to apply and smooth, more like Bondo in that department. 
Unlike other sculpting putties, it was easier to break away a tiny amount with a toothpick just for filling. That amount also stayed on the toothpick better until I was ready to apply it. And since it's white, I imagine this will be so much easier to prime a resin, especially if you are priming with white primer. You won't have to use as much white primer as you would to cover up the red of Bondo. Finally, the prepping and priming test. Putties for model horse customizing need to be water resistant, carvable, and sandable to work for all stages of prepping and priming. I had absolutely no issues with Milliput when prepping, and in fact it seemed to stand easier. As I suspected, sanding was all that was needed to smooth out those body additions and to get them to blend with the rest of the model. Milliput is water resistant, so washing it in preparation for priming was no issue. Priming it went just as well as any other epoxy with no issues either. As expected, there wasn't a perfectly smooth transition from putty to plastic even after some sanding, but like any epoxy, this was solved with a few more rounds of sanding and priming. Overall, I will say Milliput and Superfine White is a good all-round customizing putty with some unique quirks that could be a huge benefit to you. I'll leave the final decision to you. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. The YouTube algorithms love when you do all three, and that helps me reach more people. Thanks for watching, and happy sculpting!